In this video, I will tell you about making this simple 2D geometry. And for this, I'll start with rectangle tool. So I'll go to the draw panel and I'll select this rectangle tool. Now click at a point and enter the length and width of rectangle. So I'll type at and the length 12 comma the height 4 and press enter. So there we have it, the first base rectangle. Now once again we need to add another rectangle and for that I'll go to the rectangle tool and again this time we can start from any point but now I'll select any random point somewhere outside that geometry somewhere over here and once again I'll select at the length is 8.2 which is also the diameter of the largest circle which you see on the top and the height of this rectangle will be 9.9 .9. Now this 9.9 .9 height is actually derived by subtracting the total height of 18 as you can see there in the diagram minus 4 the height of a smaller rectangle and minus the radius of largest circle of diameter 8.2. Well there we have it. Now I'll select this geometry. I'll go to move tool. Click on this midpoint and move it to this midpoint. So there we go. Now we can add the remaining circles. So I'll go to circle, go to this midpoint and click on this one because we already know that this length is 8.2 so the diameter of this circle will be 8.2. I'll go to circle, click on the center point and now I'll add the radius 2.4. For the second circle, press enter again and now we have the diameter 3.6 so let's select the diameter in this case so i'll go to diameter option and now enter the diameter of 3.6 and there we have the third one the third circle all right so we have added a lot now let's add other geometries so before adding other geometries i'll actually trim some of the parts which are not required so i'll go to trim press enter and I'll trim this part. So here we have two overlapping geometries. So you need to click twice. Now I'll click on these two sides and I'll get rid of that and select the line and erase it. Okay, so now we can add the remaining geometries and for that I'll first explore this polyline. So we can see that this is a complete polyline. Let's select it and click on this explode. So now this will break it into separate segments. Now go to offset and select an offset distance of one unit and press enter. Click on this line and click upwards. So that's the offset. And now go to the line tool again. And this time I'll click on this point. Now I'll go to the left side and you can see that I'm overlapping. So that's fine. Now type two, press enter, move upwards and then enter a distance of 2.5 and press enter again. Well, we have the point from where we can make our circle. So I'll go to circle tool, select this point and I'll make the circle with the diameter of 1.52. So let's select this diameter option and enter 1.52 as the diameter. Press enter again and now go to the same point and enter the diameter of 2.4 or the radius of 1.2. And there we have it, the second circle. Now we can get rid of these reference lines. So this one is the first and this overlapping reference line. So we can just get rid of these two lines. Now you can make a mirror image of this on this side. So I'll select mirror. I'll select both of these circles, press enter. Click on this point, the midpoint and click upwards and press enter. So that's the mirror image. All right, so up to this point, everything seems normal. Let's now add the fillets. So let's go to fillet, go to radius and enter the radius value of 1.6 and press enter. I'll also select multiple option because we want to repeat the fillet. So now I'll go to this line and this line. The fillet is added and you can also see that the command is still active because we selected multiple option. Now I'll select this line and this one and there we have it, both the fillets. Now we need to only add the geometry which is here. For that I'll go to offset and I'll add the offset distance of 1.6 unit and press enter. Now click on this line, click inside, this line and click inside. And also click on this circle and offset it towards this side. Well, there we have it. Now we have a lot of 
overlapping geometries we'll get rid of that in a moment but first let's add another offset so i'll go to offset and this time enter the offset distance of 4.8 press enter now click on this line and offset it upwards well we have our shape but we need to now trim some of the extra geometries so i'll go to trim press enter and carefully trim the part which i am trimming so just like this trim everything which is additional here and there there it is well we just left that part so trim enter and then get rid of this all right so now select everything which is not required from this drawing along with the circle and these two lines and get rid of that and there we have it we have our final drawing as per the requirement 